this full wall uh, mural muralizing I'm, I'm labeling as art and architecture because I'm working with the pre-existing architecture architectural elements of the building and that that's that's kind of uh, inspired my my artwork concept for the building uh, actually and funnily enough uh, the blue tile has actually been my overall inspiration, so there's going to actually be a preponderance of blue in this. Um, but I, I call it more than muralizing, I call it art and architecture because of incorporating all these different elements of a pre-existing building. And since I'm painting the entire building, um, I think that's, the, that's an element that really, really excites me, is, is, is working with the, uh, the building. So I think that at the end of the day, it's not so much going to be a mural, as opposed to a freestanding colored sculpture. Um, and because of the location of it being on the corner like this with no other buildings around it, it has its own integrity and credibility all by itself. And when, and when it's all gonna be painted like this, it will be an art piece, a, a full art piece, which is very unusual. I, I honestly don't know in all of LA County if there's another building that's painted in such a way, much less being an art school uh, you know, for uh, charter high school and, uh, and middle school, um, it's really a fantastic combination. And uh, and I really thank the school, I thank the community of Pomona for having this uh, great idea, but having the, the guts to go through with it. But, um, so it's a very exciting, uh, it's a very exciting opportunity. But uh, once this is done, there's no way anybody's gonna be able to get away from this. <laughs> it's really gonna be the postcard. You know, with all with all the development, the redevelopment of the downtown areas, this arts and arts and entertainment uh, area, this to me, you know, is going to be is going to signify all of that sim symbolically. So it, it really it, it works on a lot of levels, I believe. A lot of levels, and and I call it the Pomona Copia because there are references in this, even though it's a very, it's an all abstract piece. Um, they're a reference to the Pomona history, which is mainly uh, agricultural. So uh, most of the colors in this are fruits and veggie colors. And then I have, you know, I got the name Pomonocopia from uh, Cornucopia, meaning with all the vegetables. And, um, so there are, there are shapes in here, like, uh, I keep saying Pomonocopia, but cup. God, what is it? Uh, cornucopia shapes. <laughs> and, and then there are arrows with, with uh, um, road, I don't know what you call those, road um, dividers or whatever, to signify all the roads coming and going through Pomona. And also, I also want to, I'll say that this is also a tribute to my father, because as it, as it turns out, the first time that I came to Pomona was in 2008, when um, a man, Rolo, you know, you know Rolo? He, cause he's, you know Rolo. So he was working at the, uh, at the Dog Gallery then, and he invited me to have a show at, at the Dog. So I, I came out and I saw the Da, and I was very impressed with the Da. It was a beautiful space, but it was too big actually for me at the time. So I had been taking care of my father and my mother for like 11 years. My father's an artist, so I decided to have a father and son show. So we had in, two, in June of 2008, we had a father and son show at the Da, which was very successful. I sold 20 of my father's paintings. Um, all my relatives, all the relatives came. It was he was still cognizant in a wheelchair, but. That whole experience was a golden experience on a lot of levels, um, and that was my first. That was yeah. That was my first t touch with uh, Pomona, and then I got re reintroduced last year to the School of Art and Enterprise, and I did the I did this huge mural on their main campus last year, and then this building came up, and they asked me if I would do this building as well.